Regardless of what tools I use, whether it's Sketch, any Adobe software, or Figma, I always look for good plugins that can speed up my work. Typically, Figma plugins are built around the concept of helping you augment, automate, or improve a single or series of tasks. In this video, I'll go over the top 5 Figma plugins that I'll be using heavily in 2022. There's no sponsors in this video, so these are the plugins that I'm actually using. I've chosen to present the following plugins mainly because of three things. Things. One, they relate well to the projects that I'm currently working on, which consist of mobile app design and design systems. Two, they help me design better and faster. And last but not least, they help me organize and document my designs. Let's go. There's a lot of different states that you have to consider when doing mobile app designs. Different kinds of error and empty states, edge cases, and loading states. Ghost is a plugin that helps you convert high fidelity mockups to super low fidelity mockups, making it look like loading states or skeleton views. I found this plugin recently and it's been helping me speed up my process when designing these states. It detects all text and shape layers in the selected frame, and then it replaces them with rectangles that measure the same space of the original layers. Like with most plugins, I use this mainly to help me go from 0 to 80 quickly, and then I adjust the designs manually to take it from 80 to 100. Documentations are crucial when you're working in a team. It's a good habit to set even if you're working in a project all alone. It helps you define your work and design intentionally. Red lines help you annotate your designs with red lines. Detailed measurements, specs, margins, and distances. This process can be really time consuming if you do it manually, so using this plugin has saved me plenty of time. I usually keep a set of pages or even just a dedicated file to store all my design documentations and guides. You can batch rename layers on Figma by selecting multiple layers and holding Command plus R to rename them all at one go. But the Rename It plugin helps you do more complex tasks related to renaming of layers, making all of your layers and frames well organized. My favorite feature that I use all the time with this plugin is Find and Replace Selected Layers. For instance, the naming convention I use when naming my frames is like this. Environment or Platform First, Main Tab or Area, a secondary descriptor, and lastly, the name of the state. When I need to create a set of screens for a different tab, which share a lot of designs with another tab, I just create copies. But instead of having to rename all of the screens manually, I use rename it to find and replace the name of just the main tab. Then I go ahead and adjust the designs for all of these views individually, keeping all of my design screens structured. Figma lacks the possibility to search for layers in your document. Find Focus plugin helps you find the layers you're looking for. This is really helpful when you want to batch select specific layers in a large file containing an endless number of frames. If you have been working with design system that use variant components, you might know how time consuming it can be to pixel adjust a specific layer within all of those variants. With this plugin, you can limit your search results to a selected area find and select the layer you're looking for and make the adjustments that you need on all of those in one go. Unlike some of the other plugins that I showed, Stark is pretty popular and used by a lot of big companies in the industry. It's described to be a suite of integrated accessibility tools making the world's products accessible. It helps you inspect contrast levels in your designs, find AA and AAA color alternatives, vision simulator to experience your designs through different vision disabilities and much more. I use the paid version which gives me all access to everything but there's a free version that you can use as well. I think it's totally worth the upgrade if you're serious about design at 60 bucks a year. I hope you found these plugins valuable. If you've gotten a chance to test them out already, let me know what you feel about them in the comments. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications and hit that like button below for more videos like this. See you guys in a bit. Peace.